Hi, and welcome to this quick introduction to mobile connectors. My name is Stephen Ball, and I'm a technical sales consultant with Embarcadero. With Rev Studio XE2 for both Delphi and C++ Builder, mobile connectors were introduced to the DataSnap architecture. Mobile connectors allow you to literally, by adding a tick of a box, when creating a new DataSnap server, or retrospectively adding to a DataSnap server one component which you hook up to the metadata that's there. It allows you to automatically generate proxy files that are targeted in a language of your choosing for third parties or for other people within your development team to connect seamlessly to your servers. DataSnap mobile connectors are available for Objective-C, for iOS development, for Android and Java, for BlackBerry Java, and also for Windows Phone 7 and any C-sharp development that you're doing. And obviously this can also be used with Prism. And we're going to have a look during this video at how to create a very quick server that has got a couple of methods implemented to it that we're then able to generate proxy files for that are in the language of our choosing. Now all the magic happens because of a new component, a DS proxy dispatcher, which is added to your web module unit. This hooks up to the DS proxy generator and the DS server metadata provider. And this chain allows the proxy generator that's um, producing all the rich information that's currently been used by Delphi and C++ Builder to generate remote server classes. It uses these to generate proxy classes that are specifically bound up for the language that we're pushing out for. To help with the construction of these files, there's two methods of getting the proxies. The first way is by a HTTP request now this can be enabled or disabled on the server, so it doesn't always have to be available. Um, you can close it off from being open. But by default this is on the host port forward slash proxy forward slash then the device that we want to have dot zip. So for example we could put java underscore android dot zip and we'll get the java android version out. To help with automated build processes and um, integrating this into a wider environment, there's also a proxy downloader application that you can pass parameters to to download versions of the proxy files. And this is available within Rad Studio once you install it in the bin directory, and it's called win32 proxy downloader.exe. And if you literally just type that into a command prompt and hit enter, you'll get all the help up for the parameters to pass in. So let's have a look at it in action. We're going to start off here just going File, New, and Other. And we're going to go to DataSnap Server, and we're going to create a DataSnap REST application here. Now I'm going to leave it as a standalone application for the moment, but obviously you can produce out and you can have multiple versions of this application in the same project group using the same code for testing locally and then for deployment out. We can also run this over HTTPS as well. I'm just going to leave it as standard for the moment. And to automatically help us through this demo, I'm going to use some sample methods and I'm going to create server, uh, sorry, mobile connectors here as my option. Now, by using the defaults in the wizard here, we start off with our basic server application. And if we have a look on the server methods, we can see we've got two example methods in here, which simply just one's echoing the value back, and the other one is reversing the string using strip utils. If we have a look on our web module, we can see we have our components generated automatically for us and all hooked together. And if we run this,
and start the server. I'm just going to open it up locally so we can see we have a very simple server running. This is a full REST client, which is great. If I want to have a look at the server functions, then I can browse through to the server functions. But what I'm interested in today is the proxy. So if I'm just going to go forward slash proxy, forward slash, and let's do java underscore android dot zip. And as I hit enter, we can see here this is now downloading a set of files for me. And in here, we can see fully namespaced out, a set of files ready to add into our Java development environment. And the key file to look at in here is the, um, the proxy file, the dsproxy file. And dsproxy.java here exposes out the methods of our server. Um, to access this file, we just add these files into our project group in, in Eclipse or wherever we're doing our Java development. Create the server component, um, which is a connection component, which takes the IP address, the port number, and username and password, and pass it to the exposed methods in the DS proxy, and we're then able to run. Anyway, I hope that's given you a really good insight to how simple it is to set up mobile connectors and the power that they can bring you as a Delphi or C++ builder developer to be able to open up the ability to have multiple devices connecting into your, your servers and your contained business logic. For more information on Datasnap, then please visit www.embarcadero.com forward slash rad hyphen in hyphen action forward slash Delphi hyphen labs.